So this is a 1992 Maxim Bowrider and we did a conversion where we put a heat exchanger into the engine bay and uh, to my surprise the doghouse cover actually still fit over top of all of that and uh, we'll show you how um, all the connections were made in this video. So this is a 1992 4.3 V6 engine with a Alpha 1 outdrive and we installed a new heat exchanger on here and it's from Orca Marine Cooling Systems. Um, maybe we'll start down here where the thermostat housing is. So the thermostat housing has two components to it. The lower one with all the fittings. That is the sending unit for the engine temperature gauge. It does not have uh, a high temperature sensor, so we had to plug this one. This one, I'll show you later, goes to the water pump. And then above that, you can't see it from here, but... Um, well, yeah, hold it. Yeah, this is, this is the second layer of the thermostat housing and it has the two fittings going off on either side and so that's the way it's stacked the the first one mounted to the engine is this layer here and then this one effectively is a spacer as well to get the heat pump high enough up it, it has to be the highest part on the motor so you can't mix that up uh, so we'll start with this so this is coming from the water pump down here and it goes up along and into here with a 90 degree fitting all that supplied in the kit um, there's a square socket that has to be removed down here it looks just like this square socket and it's a 9 16 that might be a bit of a problem getting off. You might have to drill it out in a worst case scenario because that's steel on steel. Um, in this case, it came off okay. Uh, next, we'll show you these two lines. There's one here and one here. And they both go around and into the thermostat housing. This one goes around and into the thermostat housing on this side. Hopefully you can see that. Um, then we have uh, this line here. It goes up and then there, they provide a tube and two clamps where you can cut the hose and rotate it. This portion has to be rotated to fit into this vertical component of the heat exchanger. Um, so that's a supply line from the outdrive bringing the salt water effectively into the heat exchanger. This is a clean out, so this is removable. Uh, then over here we have <coughs> another pipe coming from the water pump that's located on the engine and here again they provide a piece of pipe and two clamps where you can rotate this portion of it to meet the heat exchanger up here um, and then we have there are one inch lines coming off of the elbow risers that connect to the manifolds these have to be plugged by the plugs provided there's one on this side as well that has to be put in there. That's not so hard to take off because it's brass on iron basically. So that'll come off okay. Uh, then we have, okay, <coughs> there's so called uh, T fitting, which is this brass rod here. It goes from here to here 
and it has this part coming off of it so uh one second yeah so anyway it's the bottom of the manifold you take this pipe and you follow it up and it goes into one side of this T fitting and then same with the other side pipe coming out of the bottom of the manifold goes up through and into the other side of the T fitting and we make a connection as well from the T portion here into the heat exchanger should be fine now the nice thing is also that the doghouse cover actually fits over all of this even though you know the entire thing has come up quite a bit the doghouse cover on these boats is big enough that it'll actually accommodate the uh, heat exchanger which i didn't expect that i thought i'd have to modify it so that's really good news so good luck with that it's not so hard to do